a very good evening to all and welcome back to virtual dinner series day 2 hope everyone had a good insight on seo and con- content marketing with dr sanai last evening with a short note with a short and sweet intro today let me introduce our chief guest uh, mr vitek ladisla founder of score emotion a video marketing agency based in dubai he is a linkedin smart mentor helping business owners and entrepreneurs to use linkedin for their business growth in this webinar we will teach you all the basic tips and you will learn how to create a killer linkedin profile how to write an about summary how to engage with target audience on linkedin how and what to post on linkedin how to drive business from linkedin and many more tips and tricks useful for linkedin strategies with this let me conclude and hand over this session to our guest over to guest speaker yes hello thank you very much uh, for a lovely introduction thank you um uh, nishant for for this and um before we start let me just share the screen and we're going to start um because today uh we're going to talk about how to use uh linkedin in uh, in our businesses or for that matter in other um other field of uh, our lives because um i truly believe that linkedin is absolutely fantastic platform for um for all of us and especially for business owners so so if the students are going to become a, a business owners in the near future or they already have some businesses i think linkedin is a really fantastic platform where we can uh, really connect with a lot of other business owners like minded business people and we can find a lot of really meaningful business relationships so uh, as i was introduced just let me briefly um, uh, say a few words about myself my name is vitek ladislav as was already mentioned i am uh, to be found at the linkedin obviously where else so if you scan the Uh, the qr code uh, uh, on there so you will get directly to my to my linkedin profile and you can connect with me i'll be more than happy to connect with you so if you if you do that um, fantastic um, otherwise me myself personally i am uh, based in dubai and i run video marketing agency which called square motion and uh, you can also find more about me and about what we do on a, uh, on our website which called belinkedinsmart.com so you can you can go there as well um, if you if you wish so but that's pretty much all about myself and about um, you know this this sort of a pr talk um, which needs to be done so why is linkedin important and why we are talking about linkedin and why is so much buzz around linkedin because i can i can really see that there are, there are a lot of people you know talking about linkedin and linkedin is becoming a more and more platform where people go to for for business rather than just a, a recruitment platform as it used to be in uh, um, uh, before um let's me let me just uh, have a look at few statistics uh, this is really very very recent numbers from linkedin 706 million users uh, registered users uh, in more than 200 countries around the world and as you can see we have of course big number in in the us 171 million but india has 69 million users so you know it's it's growing actually just a few months ago it was um, about 50 50 58 or, or around 60 so it's growing rapidly there uh, obviously i am in uae i'm based in uae so i always look at the uae number as well and uh, 4 million users in uae i think is a fantastic number for you know 10 million 10 million people 11 million in the, you know inhabitants here in in dubai so it's a, it's a great great number but let me uh, have a look at and, and let us have a look at what are the linkedin users doing so most of all uh, linkedin people linkedin users are spending more and more time on the platform which is really good uh, good news for all of us as you can see uh, we run a research which uh, gave us more than 5 hours a week 
you know, 33% more than five hours a week spending on LinkedIn platform, which is really, really good number. What do they do people there? Um, actually, uh, still people are more uh, looking for information rather than providing the information, which is again, you know, if you look at it, it's a big window of opportunity for us who um, can become a little bit more proactive because uh, still people are there, people spending more time on the platform, but still they are not producing that much of a content. So on the other hand, it's for us, uh, it's big window of opportunity to actually become active and be seen on LinkedIn as thought leaders. Um, LinkedIn is absolutely the best social network for lead generation. According to HubSpot, as you can see, it's better than LinkedIn, uh, sorry, better than Twitter and, and Facebook combined, 277% more effective than these two other platforms. So it's actually no brainer that we as a business owners, we as a people who are thinking about becoming a business owners and entrepreneurs, we definitely need to use LinkedIn for our business. And I'm going to talk about, you know, how to become successful on LinkedIn today. Uh, and there are five different things which you really need to do in order to become successful on LinkedIn. Number one, you need to have really good business profile. Your LinkedIn profile needs to be fantastic. Why? Because whenever somebody wants to do a business with you, they go to LinkedIn to check you out. And if your profile doesn't really match the standard of your services, well, reputation gets tarnished, right? So you need to have a fantastic LinkedIn profile. That's the building block. Number two is engagement. You know, you start to engage with the right type of audience, right target audience. So you want to know how to engage with those people. So that's number two. Number three, you want to connect with those people, right? So engagement is just a building block towards the, uh, the connection, uh, the connecting uh, with the right type of uh, right type of clients. Number four is visibility. So posting on LinkedIn, you know, how, when, why, what uh, to post on the, on the LinkedIn and how to become an expert and thought leaders and LinkedIn. And number five, it's conversion, you know, how to make all these things wrap up and actually convert um, um, LinkedIn into our, our business as a, as a business tool. Yeah. So those are five uh, elements which we are going to talk about today. And I'm going to run through it because we don't have that much of a time. So sorry, uh, just hold on tight. It will be a ride. So let's start with the building block, as I mentioned. First impression is your LinkedIn profile. So when anybody lands on your profile, what do they see? Of course, they will see your profile headshot. What that, that profile headshot tells you about, about you. Um, Profiles with a professional headshot, so professionally done headshot, receive 14 times more views, nine times more connection requests, and 36 times more messages. So obviously, if you have a professionally done headshot, you have a much better chance that you're actually going to be seen. So if I see a, 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 a LinkedIn profile, photos from the party, from the wedding, from your adventures, from the sports, any dark photos, I really don't like it. And please, please, please remove them and make really professionally done uh, headshots and, and upload them to your profile. So this is what I mean by professionally done headshots. Uh, and they have a, a, you know, certain specifics. And I'm going to talk about, about, uh, about those. So what the specifics are. They are passport format, so what we call chest shot. So as you can see me now in that small small window, right? So this is exactly that kind of photo I would like to see on, on your pro, uh, LinkedIn profile. It should be in appropriate dress. So if your dress, uh, if your dress code for your work uh, is um, suit and tie, so be it. If it's like me, I, I like to wear my polo shirts. You will you will don't you don't see me really in my in my suit and tie or anything like that. It should be with the, with a single a single colored background, usually white or you know just single color background. So then your photo will stand out really clearly. And then what you do, you look into the camera and then you have a big bright smile. You know these are really inviting photos. And as you can see, my dear friend here, Yvonne Spiller, she has fantastic uh, photo on her profile. Very inviting, very positive you know, nicely looking. If you don't believe me that I'm telling you something <laughs> true, you can always um, turn to the machine and machine learning and AI. There's a free AI analysis on snapper.co. It's a free thing. So you can link, you can actually log in with your LinkedIn profile and uh, Snapper will tell you um, uh, what is uh, the, the status of your, of your LinkedIn profile photo. Very, very interesting. Definitely check it out. So, we're talking about first impression on LinkedIn. And first, obviously, it is photo. Number two, it's LinkedIn headline. 
What is LinkedIn headline? Headline is one of the most visible parts of your LinkedIn profile and major factor in LinkedIn search algorithm. Not many people know that. So what I'm talking about, I'm talking about the line, the few lines directly below your name. What does it tell about, uh, what does it tell that, that those lines about you? You know, is it, is it really descriptive? You know, um, people, do people understand what you do? It's really interesting. So, and we, we recognize four different types of headlines. Number one, it's expert headline. So it's usually for experts, for scientists, maybe governmental officials, um, high rank uh, C-level managers. That, that may be some, some expert headline. Number two is mission headline. Mission headline is for those who, whose mission is the driving factor of the attractivity of their profile. So somebody like, um, you know, here, government officials, for example, His Excellency Sheikh Mohammed bin, uh, bin Zayed uh, Al Maktoum, he has a very, very nice mission headline on his profile. Then there is an entertaining headline, and we have many of those, like Jack of all trades, master of none, and things like that, or coolest guy in Nashville, you know, all these kind of different, different entertaining headlines. I wouldn't really use them as a business owner, but obviously there are many people who are doing it. And then there is a customer facing headline. I really like that one, especially for entrepreneurs and business owners. And I, I'll show you what are the examples and I'll show you why I like that. Usually there is a very simple um, formula how to create a customer facing headline. And it starts with I help or helping, enabling or I enable, I empower. And then you in, insert in those brackets tar your target audience. Then to do what? What is your solution? So imagine that that kind of headline, and I'll give you a few examples in a minute, is really talking directly to your clients and customers. So imagine, for example, imagine that this, this per particular person has on his or her profile written just career happiness coach. It's okay, right? Like you know what she does, but suddenly if she, if she, uh, she has that, like this little bit more lines and say, Empowering corporate professionals to wake up happy on Mondays, career happiness coach. Suddenly, she talks directly to her target audience. She is addressing certain issues which that target audience has. And that is, that is really extremely important because it's very relevant to her target audience. And suddenly, me as a corporate professional who is not really happy, you know, waking up on Monday morning, I would like to connect with her. So this is really important that we can, through the headline, we can talk directly to our, to our target audience. I help seven say SAS businesses reach $10 million revenue. Who wants to be number eight? Again, very, very laser focused uh, headline on, uh, on target audience, right? So whoever is here in, a, in SAS's business and then want to reach out to this revenue of $10 million, definitely he wants to probably be uh, talking to this person. Yeah. So... These are very, very important uh, things which we can think about when crafting our headlines. But there are some, some mistakes as well, you know, like uh, using these cliche words like uh, proactive and hardworking and all that. Please do not use those. Do not use also any industry jargon. It's really if people don't understand what you, what, who you are and what you do. And that goes with the third as well. You know, do not use any three letter abbreviations. As you can see in, those, in that example below, I don't really know what that person does. And if I don't know what he does or what she does, why would I connect with him or with her, right? So uh, try, to, try to make it really simple for people to connect with you. We're talking still about LinkedIn profile and the first impression of LinkedIn. We were talking about profile photo, about LinkedIn headline, and now let's talk about LinkedIn banner. LinkedIn banner is that big space, you know, above your photo. And I always... I always tell, you know, the story that it's like a billboard, you know, it's like a big billboard on the main road, you know, LinkedIn is giving you that space, that big billboard to you, uh, for you to use it. And many, many people, they just actually, they don't use it. And I wonder why, like, uh, what's the reason why they are not using it? You know, they have such a, you know, such a premium space and they're, they're not using it for the brand. It's not smart, isn't it? So, if you, if you have your bill, billboard or your, for, for that matter, your LinkedIn banner looking like this, please change it. Please change it. And if you don't know when and how or, or how to do that, I will tell you in a minute. But these are examples of uh, nicely done corporate banners, which I really like. So as you can see, some nice uh, visual with, uh, with the logo of the company, so on and so forth. You know, some, some book authors are using it to highlight the, the books 
and whatever. So I think this this is really nice. If you don't know how to create how to create that LinkedIn banner, go to Canva. If you don't know Canva now, you know absolutely fantastic graphic design platform. It's free and they have LinkedIn banner templates, so you can always go there and check that out. Fantastic, um, easy to do, easy to do so. Um, we're still talking about LinkedIn profile, and then of course there are so many other parts, and we're not going to talk about all of them. There's no time for this, but we're going to talk still about a little bit about LinkedIn about section. And about section is basically um, a story about yourself. Many times people think that it's their CV and they're putting their CV there. Don't do that. Actually, you know nobody really likes to read CV because CV is usually very dry. But uh, if you write your CV as a story, yeah, why not? So. Just imagine it's really your story, not your not your CV. So what it uh, how it should be written? It should be written always in the first person. Again, if you're an entrepreneur or business owner, be customer centric. So directly talk to your customers, even through this um, this about section. Break it into some paragraphs and keywords. You can definitely involve the, the keywords in it because uh, LinkedIn algorithm is looking into about section and just wanted to wants to know what uh, what you do. So so use the keywords in here in this about section. Um, then uh, definitely add some icons. As you can see here, um, you know some graphic elements. They just making it all that all that um, you know more uh, relaxing and maybe easy to read and add to call to action. So perhaps your phone number, your email, just make it easy for people to, to, to reach out to you. Yeah, I know that those are not clickable links, that's fine, but still making it easier for others to, to actually get in touch with you. So um, what are the action points from this first, uh, first session is upload your professional headshot, definitely have a professional shoot. Revise your headline, be customer centric if you if you can talk, talk to directly to your customers, design your LinkedIn banner and look at uh, your about summary and write it in the first person. Yeah. So uh, <clears throat> I, now I would like to ask you a question. Do you want to engage with the key decision makers? And because you are here, because you're listening to me and you are actually uh, consuming this, this webinar, I'm pretty sure you want to do that. So now let's talk about LinkedIn engagement, how to engage on LinkedIn. And um, I hope it will become very, very um, apparent why I'm talking first about engagement, because there is a certain strategy behind, behind engagement. Um, so how can I engage with my target audience? That's very, very important, important thing. First, you need to know who is your target audience and start with your target audience. So do, um, uh, you know, the due diligence for on your side is definitely to figure out who is your target audience and if that target audience is actually on, on LinkedIn. Obviously, if they are not on LinkedIn, they are on some other social media, then obviously you don't need to spend time on LinkedIn, but uh, you need to be more relevant somewhere else, maybe on a Twitter, maybe on a Facebook, maybe on an Instagram. Yeah, but I can tell you if you're B2B business um, and you have this, um, <clears throat> Um, you, you have this this uh, this focus. Then I can tell you that 95% of people uh, definitely you will find you will find here on LinkedIn. So search for your target audience. That's important. Okay. Number two, visit the profile of your target audience. So imagine. Uh, let me give you an example. Then, for example, you want to um, target certain C-level manager of, of one company. So you search for him, you figure out that he's on LinkedIn. What are you gonna do next? Next thing, you need to visit his profile. Why is it important? Because you're making yourself visible. Whenever you visit the profile of somebody, that person will see that you visited the profile. So you're making yourself visible. You're kind of like a showing the interest in, in a person. And it's important actually. And I will tell you also why. Then. Second, uh, third thing which you need to do is start engaging with the activities of that person on uh, on LinkedIn. So leaving meaningful comments here and there, liking the post, you know, doing bits and pieces, you know, that you you actually giving giving certain certain nudges to to the to the person that uh, he he will not just see you that visited the profile, but you actually leaving meaningful comments, for example, on his post. How powerful is this? Imagine if uh, if you write a post. And then there is a person who actually reads your post and make a meaningful, leave a meaningful comment behind. How do you feel? You feel acknowledged, you feel understood, right? You feel admired uh, because of this. And this is exactly what we need to, what we need to play on. 
So this is exactly what we want to accomplish with our uh, person of interest. We want him to understand that we read the post, we read, uh, and then we left a meaningful comment. And what you can do also, you can actually, in prior to connecting with this person, because that's the, the, uh, that's the last stage, right? We can actually follow him. So we don't need to send the connection request first, and I wouldn't re actually recommend that, but I would, re I would recommend to follow that person. Because again, that's another touch point, because that person gets prompted. He will, he will receive a note from LinkedIn that you have followed him. So that's really, that's really important. So this is for the formula for engagement is extremely important prior to connecting. Obviously, our objective is to, uh, to actually connect with those, with those people of interest, right, in the target audience. But before that, we want to engage with them first. Why? Because then connecting gets much, much, much easier. And actually what happens many times when you start engaging with the people, they will actually send you connection requests. You know, they want to connect with you because you're such a big fan of those, of them, yeah? So it is really extremely important to start first from engagement. Do not, do not, do not sell. I, I, I can't, you know, how many times we've seen this, and I, I'm pretty sure that if you're on a LinkedIn, how many times you connected with somebody and the next thing you have received in your mailbox, I mean, in your, in your um, messages, in, on the LinkedIn is some sales pitch, some kind of company profile, or somebody's trying to, you know, sell you something. You know, how many times we, we, we've uh, experienced that? Do we like it? Do you like it? I don't. And I'm pretty sure majority of us, we don't like it. So we shouldn't be, we, we shouldn't be those people who are doing it, right? So if we're doing the right, the right uh, strategy, right engagement, we are actually getting close. We are, we're creating a relationship based on that relationship. We are going to be asked, you know, and what do you do? What is your business? Can you show me what do you do? And that's the time where we can actually start, you know, uh, this deeper business conversation. Not, not definitely not uh, uh, on the first. So engage before connecting. This is really the mantra I'm trying to promote all the time. Engage before connecting, because if you do that, Connecting is becoming much easier. And we've seen that if you do the engagement uh, strategy in the four steps, as I, as I outlined, connecting, the, the connection requests are having 87% of uh, success rate. 87% of success rate. Well, I think that speaks for, uh, for itself. So action points from this engagement, engagement session is Identified first, identified five people you want to engage and eventually connect with. Visit their profile and gather the intelligence because you can always always visit the profile and see what they do, you know, what is their interest, so on and so forth. Engage with their posts and articles. Leave meaningful comments. And by meaningful comments, I really mean not just awesome, or thanks for sharing, or fantastic. Um, no, these are just your shout outs. No, really meaningful comments. How did that post make you feel? Uh, what did, you know, what's your feedback? What's, uh, what, you know, um, maybe some add of some of your value, some of your comments on this. So those are meaningful comments. And repeat this at least for 10 days, one week or 10 days. That's really ideal when you see that the results are coming back to you. So this is really important from, uh, from the engagement, engagement thing. If you want to know a little bit more about, about uh, LinkedIn and, and about techniques and tips, you can listen to some podcasts. We're running a free podcast, obviously. We um, actually in interviewing really top class people, top class um, LinkedIn uh, trainers and, and, uh, and coaches from around the world. So if you go to any kind of, of your favorite platforms as Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, or Spotify or Stitcher, and you can always you can always listen to this uh, to this podcast. It's a weekly podcast. Very very interesting interesting people there. Yeah. So now the question is: Do you want to connect with ideal clients? <laughs> and I think again the the answer is yes. So let us talk about how to uh, connect on LinkedIn with our ideal clients. Of course, there is a connection strategy. We were talking about engagement strategy first, right? So once we've done the engagement strategy, we can do the connections. But there is always one thing first. What we can do, we can connect with people we know, 
So if you want to connect with people, connect with people you know, you already know. So go through your email, for example, email list, uh, email address book, and look at those people who you had uh, been in touch with, you know, two, three, four years ago, and you're not connected with them on LinkedIn. Uh, connect with people you know from your school, from uh, you know from some some extracurricular activities, or you know from somewhere else, uh, and connect with them on on the LinkedIn. That's the easy that's the easy part, right? That, because they already know you. You have already some relationship there, so it's much easier to connect with them. And perhaps you never know. And I've seen it so far too many times. You know, when we do this exercise with our corporate clients, for example, we've seen that you know. Uh, people who are responding back, they're saying, oh, you know what? I wanted to actually connect with you because I need your services again. I need to get in touch with you because I need, uh, you know, your product or, um, or your service. So these, these are the low hanging fruits. So be, be sure that you really connect with people you know. Obviously, we already outlined in the engagement section that we want to connect with people of interest, so our target audience. So those are the people we want to know. So it's not about connecting with everybody and anybody left, right and center on LinkedIn. That's not really the good strategy. There's actually no strategy, right? Or perhaps that, that's a strategy of connecting with everybody. But then is it really focused? Is it really laser focused uh, um, group of people who they know really what you do and you have a connection with? Well, I don't know. I leave it up to you. If, if that is your strategy, be my guest. I'm really very, very laser focused of who I'm allowing into my um, sort of a sphere um, of, of a LinkedIn contacts. And uh, I want to have those people who I want to know. So this is really, really important. So when you when you connect in with them based on the engagement strategy, what you do is always, always, always send a personalized connection request. So whenever you send a connection request, always add this personalized note never leave it without without a personalized note so i want to connect with you because and then you mentioned you know for example that you read the post or you've seen the his profile or her profile things like that you know and make sure that it's really personal so the person he or she knows that you are actually you know you know what what he or she does yeah so that's really important again Action points from this part is identify a specific target audience. So you, you, people who you want to connect with, send connection requests to at least five people a day and always add a personalized note. Those are three important action points which I would like you to take from this uh, section. So do you want to uh, be recognized as an expert on LinkedIn? And again, because I believe you are here and you're listening to me today. I'm sure that the, the answer is yes, right? So let us talk about how to increase our visibility, how to become an expert and what and how to post on LinkedIn. So there are like a few important questions, obviously, why to post on LinkedIn, what to post on LinkedIn and when to post on LinkedIn. So let us start one by one. What's the objective? So what is our why? Um, of course, there may be many, many different objectives, but um, I kind of like a simplified into three different different points. One, we want to always start a conversation. How many times I've seen our clients, you know, coming back to us and asking us about, you know, yeah, we posting, you know, we posting, you know, almost like a twice, uh, three times a week, but nobody's actually, you know, nobody is engaging with our post. And when we look at we look at the, the post. There is nothing to there is nothing to you know uh, to to engage with. There is no question. There is no conversation. There is nothing really to to be to be engaged with. So obviously, if you want to have high engagement, you need to think how to write the post that starts conversation. So perhaps start with a question. Maybe you can you can give yes or no um, uh, different option. Yeah. Uh, so think about how to create a post. That would actually start a conversation. So that's uh, that's uh, one objective. Another objective is to share value. So obviously, we want to always, whenever we post, we just don't want to just post for the sake of posting, but we want to share value. We want to give some extra, something that will will elevate also our status, right? Like so, sharing value is extremely important on LinkedIn because people are there, as I as I mentioned, they are spending the time there. They want to be educated. They want to be informed. So we need to share value. And number three is to build our trust and expertise. So obviously, yes, if we're sharing the value, our level of expertise or the, the perception of us as a thought leaders in our particular sphere is actually increasing, right? 
because obviously we're giving some value, we're giving some tips, we're giving some, some extra content which is valuable to our audience. So our level of expertise, the trust level is, is, um, is increasing as, as well. So that's the, these are the three important things. So what you can, what you can create uh, now in terms of, of a posting, uh, we can start with a simple text post. Yeah, you can, it can be long, uh, short form or long form. Um, me personally, I actually like to start every day with some positive quote um, in my personal life. So I, I project that into my LinkedIn feed. So if you follow me on LinkedIn, you will see that, you know, every single morning there is a, some, some inspirational quote. Yeah, I like that. I like that in my life. Uh, so I like it on my, on my feed. Obviously, a uh, picture is worth a thousand words. We know that um, it's, a, it's a cliche statement, but, uh, but I use it all the time because I think it's true, right? Like whenever there's a photo, uh, people are uh, engaged with it a little bit more. So you can, you can think about some, some kind of photo and you can document your journey. You can document your, your discussion with your client or whatever it is, you know, always add some photos. Videos are extremely, extremely important on LinkedIn and overall now on the internet because you can see that really video can um, uh, can actually deliver a lot, let the, deliver a lot of emotion. You're now watching me. If you would, if you will be, you know, if I if I have just my photo there and I will be talking to you, it's not really you don't you don't really see my gesture, you don't really see my facial expressions, you don't really see the energy or whatever it is. So. Obviously, the video can carry a lot of emotional effect on your on your clients. So it is extremely important to actually do videos. And uh, you know, I, I'm a big I'm, I'm a video producer. I'm a TV producer on my own profession. But now, majority of my videos on social media are done on this. You know, so whenever you see my videos where I'm standing where I'm standing in front of the camera and talking and uh, you know giving some tips or some some valuable tips, it's done on my phone. I don't use my, my team or, or like our exp uh, expensive equipment and all that. No, I'm using it just, just my phone because it's so easy. It's about content. It's about uh, quick delivery. So, so there is no, no excuse that uh, you cannot do videos. You can do videos. This is enough. This is enough, really. So think about videos and uh, really pay attention to videos. Um, I was talking about about conversational posts and how how we try like one of our objective is actually starting some conversation, uh, starting some discussion. LinkedIn reintroduced polls just uh, not long time ago. It's about three months ago, and these are really extremely uh, valuable in order to start certain discussions. So you can you can think about polls. You can definitely think about a little bit long form uh, articles like a blog post on on the LinkedIn, which call articles. They are like a different different part uh, of LinkedIn. And um, last but not the least, uh, presentations. They are also very, very interesting and uh, important um, when you have some document, maybe of over 10, 15, 13 pages. So you can actually upload that onto, onto LinkedIn. So these were, these were things, you know, uh, like a what to, what to do. Um, if you're still not unsure about, about the, the content, you know, what, to, what to write about, you can always go to answerthepublic.com or another one is Quora, Quora.com where you can find more uh, interesting, interesting things, what people are asking about and what they are interested in. So any content ideas, you can go there. So now let's talk about when to post on LinkedIn. So uh, I prefer to post at least, at least three times a week. I would rather say post daily, it's really better. And it's better from different, different uh, aspects. First, you're becoming visible to your, uh, to your audience, uh, to, your, to your followers on the LinkedIn. So if you're posting just once a month or, or twice a month, you're barely visible, really. So it's very, very difficult to, to get some traction. Second thing uh, from this is that actually you don't, get, don't have enough data. So you don't know what, what your audience is interested in. Yeah? So if you post in just once in a month, and nobody's really very much interested in it, then you don't know if it's because you post only uh, once a month or it's an unattractive content. So if you post more times a, a week, you will, you will figure out what works and what doesn't work. And this is really, really important on all social media, always trying to test, right? What works, what doesn't work. So I think this is really important to try to post at least three times a week. Um, it says that the sweet spot is posting during the working hours. I just read recently there were some statistics that, uh, you know, during the middle of the week, the middle of the week is the best time. So usually 
it depends what what the week is. You know, here in the Middle East, we have um, you know Sunday to Thursday. So obviously for us, it's uh, it's usually Tuesday and Wednesday. Probably for you, if it's if it's Monday to Friday in India uh, and subcontinent, then uh, probably that would be uh, let's say Wednesday, Thursday. Yeah. So so that that's probably the sweet spot when to post. And now let's talk about the last part and how it, about LinkedIn convert. Uh, how to convert? Um, obviously, we know that we need to search for ideal clients, and we were talking about it. You know how to do that, right? We were talking about the engagement strategy, about connection, and second thing, we need to uh, so engaging in connection with uh, with um, with our clients. And now, if we know all this, we can communicate with with uh, those people in our in our uh, email box or in my in mailbox uh, on the messenger um, in in a LinkedIn. Uh, and communicate and move those clients offline into, into a deeper business discussion. Or, so we can filter them out according to our, our search. We engage and connect with them and then moving them offline to our deeper, deeper business conversations. <clears throat> so basically, that's, uh, that's, pretty much, that's pretty much everything what I wanted to cover, cover today. I hope, yeah, I, I hope it was, it was, uh, um, it was, uh, easy to digest and you understand what uh, what it all, all was again if you want to connect connect with uh, with me uh, feel free to connect on uh, on LinkedIn I'll be more than happy to tell you more and to, to perhaps help you with with your profile and things like that we do also run uh, to our masterclass for all our, our you know uh, people who are interested in getting uh, more advanced knowledge about about LinkedIn and how to actually drive business and uh, and business leads from from LinkedIn. We we run it in, uh, usually twice in a month. So if you're interested in that, please just let me know. I will definitely definitely get in touch uh, with you on that one. It's actually paid. It's it's a paid workshop. It's not free as this one. But um, there are some uh, really uh, deep down uh, uh, deep diving into a topic of LinkedIn and figuring out you know how we can become really successful in driving business results, increasing our leads, and generating some business from LinkedIn uh, to to our businesses. So. I hope it was uh, it was okay. If uh, if you have any questions, I will be more than happy to to answer those. And um, yeah, I I think that should be yeah that should be it as a as a as a Q and A. Okay. So I'm not really sure if I have any any questions here at this moment. But if you if you have any questions, please feel free just add them into into this uh, chat bar was it was it all understandable did you did you understand uh, whether any any specific specific uh, um, things which you want to know more about um, I wanted to give you a very succinct um, sort of presentation. I didn't want to run over over 40 minutes because uh, normally that's uh, that's about the sweet spot which we found that uh, that's uh, that's pretty much <laughs> the maximum what people can keep uh, focus uh, be be focused on. Obviously, we can deep dive into uh, all different kind of section about about profile. We didn't we didn't talk about so many other things on on a profile section. We could, of course, uh, dissect the engagement. You know how to do it. You know with with the templates and things like that. But I, this is exactly what we do afterwards in the advanced sessions uh, of our two-hour masterclass, which we call LinkedIn Smart Masterclass. So if you're interested uh, in uh, in, thou, in those, just uh, just let me know, and we can we can definitely discuss those. So I don't really see any questions. So thank you, sir. Uh... Uh, you have got only one question. Okay. Uh, like, uh, how do you promote a foreign uh, foreign uh, career start for a student side? Uh, how to get started with LinkedIn? For the students, how to get started with LinkedIn? Yeah. Okay. So LinkedIn is a fantastic platform for personal brand. So as a student, obviously, you have that 
job in mind. You perhaps you want to you want to build your personal brand. And I, I'm, at this moment, perhaps you don't know if you're gonna be an entrepreneur or, or you you want to you want to go and and get a job in some some corporate corporate uh, world. So, but in any case, your personal brand needs to needs to be there in place. So imagine that you're looking for a job. People will look, the recruiters will go and they will look at your LinkedIn profile. So again, your LinkedIn profile needs to be absolutely aligned with your personality, with your values, you know, with your, what you stand for, where, you know, there is perhaps some of your, your mission. Maybe you, you have some volunteering experience during, during your studies. Maybe you have worked on certain projects. All these things are important aspects of your LinkedIn profile and of your personal brand. Yeah. So be mindful that and uh, like an incomplete uh, LinkedIn, LinkedIn profile will actually give you disadvantage um, compared to those who, who made sure that everything what, what they stand for, where everything what they did, they have there. So make sure that really your, uh, your profile stands out. And as I mentioned already, that stands out with your profile photo. That's a professionally done with your, um, with your banner behind you, with your headline, you know, with all the different aspects which uh, which can be filled there, I hope I'm answering answering that question, you know, uh, for the students. Thank you, sir. Uh, you have another question, something like uh, some hints on usage of LinkedIn uh, B two B relationship. Okay, can uh, Nish uh, sorry sorry Nishan, can, okay. can you just repeat it again? Some or? hints uh, uh, on usage of LinkedIn B two B relation uh, will be useful. Uh, so yeah, uh, uh, as I mentioned, you know, whenever you're B two B, so when whenever you have uh, your service or product B two B, then uh, LinkedIn is definitely an absolutely fantastic platform for for you to build your relationship on. Yeah, uh, it's perhaps a little bit less for for B two C businesses because they they perhaps you can think more of a of an Instagram or Facebook um, as as a you know uh, connecting directly with your clients. Uh, but if you if you want the connection business to business or as, as we call it now human to human, then uh, I think this is really important to build your presence on LinkedIn. And uh, as I mentioned before, LinkedIn is far from being just the recruiters platform as it was seen or as it's seen perhaps still seen by many people now. If you go to LinkedIn and you actually exp experience the platform, you will see that there are a lot of people doing really extremely interesting things. You know, sharing some valuable information, sharing some company insights, some tips, um, some specific specific um, um, industry industry information, which are uh, becoming a very very valuable. So, so if you are a business who uh, wants to attract another business. Then I think LinkedIn is really fantastic platform for doing that, and uh, you should definitely look look into 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 LinkedIn as a as a business platform for generating leads. Okay, thank you, sir. Uh, here is another question: okay. uh, How do we recognize target audience on LinkedIn? So, uh, recognizing target audience on LinkedIn is extremely easy. So, imagine like, uh, if if let's say my target audience would be uh, let's say logistics companies and uh, C-level managers in logistics companies. LinkedIn has filters that they can filter out exactly this type of audience. So I can search for any type of C-level managers for CEOs, owners, VP of marketing, for example. Those are the categories which I'm interested in and in the logistic companies and the geographic area. So you can actually filter out all those people and then you will see them, you will see them lined up there. So you will see their names, you know, where they are from, what are the companies. Um, and then what needs to happen is that what I was mentioning in the first, you know, first thing, start engaging with them. So not just simply go straight away and try to connect with those people, but start engaging with them first. Yeah. And while engaging with them, you know more about them. You see what they do. You see if your product or service which you are offering is actually a good fit for them. Do they have that pain point which you uh, you saw? And if that is so, you can always you know start start engaging on a deeper level and then connect with them because once you connect with them, you can actually message one another. Yeah, so that's uh, that's the that's the whole that's basically the whole point, right? Uh, start communicating with them. 
why I'm, I'm uh, advocating LinkedIn for anybody who is actually B2B, business, uh, B2B in a B2B sphere is that you can connect with C-level managers or really with, with your target audience without any gatekeepers. So imagine if you want to connect with, um, let's say, CEO of um, or some logistic company here in Dubai. So I'll find, uh, I'll probably, you know, find some name and I'll call up the, the company. Who will pick up? Who will pick up the phone? Probably some receptionist, right? And the first question will be, "I, who are you? What do you want?" I'm so and so. I would like to connect with the CEO of your company. Why? Why would you connect with the CEO? Yeah, because I would like to. No, no, thank you very much, sir. We are we are okay. Thank you very much. Bye. That's it. That will be probably the connection, right? If you're on LinkedIn, you can directly reach to that 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 person. And you can start talking to him directly. Again, not about your business, because if you start talking about your business, probably he will or she will shut down, and uh, you know she will block you or, or you know or disconnect with you. But if you start building relationship, then based on that relationship, you will see that the person, if you if you're really putting some effort uh, into into that engagement, then the person will will understand. Ah, okay, there is insight. I would like to check the profile of this person. What actually he or she does. And then you re, you will you will be visible to that to that C level manager, and he will no longer actually you will no longer be a stranger to him or her, but the the connection can be made much 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 easier. Yeah. Okay, fine, sir. Here is the last question: uh, Is LinkedIn Premium mandatory? In the sense, uh, you have both versions: free free variant and premium variant. What you get on premium version? Sure. So, so yeah. Thank you very much for this question. Uh, I, I get this all the time. I keep saying that I need to I need to add this to to my to my <laughs> to my presentation. So so it will be answered. But but fine. Um, so there is a pre uh, free version and there's a premium version of of LinkedIn. Uh, free version. I always say start with free version. Don't pay for LinkedIn. Start with free version. Why? Because only when you start using the LinkedIn platform, you recognize and you realize the power of that of that platform, and you figure out what you can uh, do with it. Once you start hitting the limits of your free version, so for example, you cannot search for more people, or you cannot connect with more people, and all these kind of different limitations of the free uh, platform, then you understand. Uh, that you need to buy or you need to invest in in a LinkedIn and pay for uh, for the for the paid version. But by that time, you have already experience and you know what you need to do on LinkedIn. Because many people they do they do the mistake and they think, oh, let me you know let me pay for LinkedIn and I and then they pay for LinkedIn and they don't do anything on on the platform and then they come back to us and they say, for example, oh, you know uh, I'm paying for Sales Navigator, but actually it doesn't do anything to me. And then when you realize and you keep asking them certain questions like what do you do there and then you know how you're using it, you realize that they're actually not using it because they don't know how to use it so learn how to use linkedin and then you know step up and buy the uh, or start paying for for the version you know rather than the opposite way around thank you sir we had a very good session today uh uh, we got more insights on LinkedIn. Of course, I've been on LinkedIn for many years, but I've got more information uh, on this that I'll just uh, fine tune my profile as well. Sure. <laughs> and hope our participants will do the same. Uh, on behalf of School of Management, let me thank uh, the guests and the par participants of the day. And uh, we have uh, the another day, last day to uh, tomorrow by the same time, uh, Dr. Ajaz Sheikh who is the guest of uh, tomorrow. He'll be talking on demystifying marketing on internet, a walkthrough approach uh, from Finland. Uh, he is a postdoctoral uh, researcher. So uh, we'll have uh, more insights on those marketing uh, uh, limits as well. So thank you, sir. Thank you, participants. Nishan, before we go, uh, I would sir? like to say, before before we go before we finish i would like to thank you to all participants for for listening to me i hope you understand that linkedin is really a fantastic platform for creating meaningful business relationships so please make sure that you uh, you you go there you you experience the platform and you figure out you know what what it is and how it can be useful for you 
whoever you are, if you're a student, if you're a you know, future entrepreneur, future manager, future C-level, C-level executive, that's okay. But uh, you know, building the presence on the LinkedIn will, you know, that's a long-term thing. And um, I really want to, to encourage everybody, please go and, and figure out a uh, LinkedIn platform because definitely, definitely you will benefit from it. Sure, sir. We have been live streamed on the YouTube. We'll just share again uh, to all students of final year as well as the uh, entrepreneurs, uh, that is uh, startup companies. We have an internal EDC cell. So I will just make sure that everybody watch this. Awesome. Okay. Thank you, sir. A feedback link will be given on uh, YouTube uh, chat history. You can just follow up them. And it will be active only for 30 minutes from now. And uh, you can't find any, anywhere, anywhere else this link. Uh, please follow and fill. Awesome. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir.